good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Tiffany Hinger turned 41 years old on June 18th, 1983. And of course, as a self-aggrandizing politician that wants a lot of attention, she decided to post about it on her Facebook. If you will, I'd like to read that post. Today, I turned 25 again. The best feeling is being able to grow as you age. I literally started as a trustee and now I'm a super mayor. Super mayor equals supervisor plus mayor. For all of you people reporting fake news, nothing is self-proclaimed about me. I am the first, I've been me, I'm still me, and I stand on being me for 17 cities within the Thornton Township. Just remember, let God lead you and follow your purpose. No matter how things look, keep going. Stay focused and stay positive. Now I'm going to leave you with this. You need people to doubt you. It's part of God's plan. The things you go through is a test for your testimony. Just trust the process because God isn't going to give you nothing you can't handle. Just know you was built for this. Now watch as I rise like the phoenix from the ashes. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. That's the Kendrick Lamar song. Happy birthday. Okay, we see more pictures of her. Weaves in sandal heels. This is her daughter. We'll blur her face. Um, it's interesting. She blurred her boyfriend in the background. Out, right? That's how much she cares about this dude. And there's her again with money and stolen makeup. But there are some more things that I found interesting as she continued to post on her Facebook page after her birthday. She says facts, people at the bottom compete, which is sad, but people at the top collaborate. Stop hanging with, stop conversations with, stop dealing with bums. Now, there is a video from a person by the name of Erica Cops, and I want to play that for your listening ears. It's people at the bottom compete. People at the top collaborate. If you don't understand how to use each other's platforms and gifts in order to leverage opportunities for the collective, there is a ceiling and the ceiling's very low for you. That's the reason why we talk about collaborations at award shows and people who are doing the top of their game. And I think that a lot of people could really benefit from that idea of thinking. Then after this, another interesting post. Oh my God. God been talking to me tonight. Check this out. Always say this, keep God first and let him order your steps. He will always give you a sign or send a message. Stay woke. This is another reel I want you to hear. The reason why people spread rumors about you and then they talk about you behind your back, it's because they don't have what it takes to challenge you face to face. There's a term for this. It's called relational aggression. It's when a person attacks you socially. The idea in a lot of cases is to attack your reputation. In other words, a smear campaign. Think about it this way. If they can slander your name and destroy your image, they can get a lot of people to hate you behind your back. So when they do finally come for you, instead of it being one on one, which they know they would lose, they can make it a 15 on one and dogpile you. But make no mistake, it is not because you are hated, it is because you are powerful. And because you are powerful, they can't do it alone. The difference between you and them, your power is coming from within. In their case, they have to cheat and use a dirty tactic to get all of their power from the external just to defeat what you were blessed with on the internal. You can succeed on your own and they cannot. Do not buckle and continue to be yourself. It got you this far and it will get you further. And see, the reason why I played those things, because I noticed quite a few women that are in positions of authority love to use the Lord Jesus in their positions of argumentation to justify how they behave or the adversaries against them. But the reality is, is that these people are the biggest demons 
that I've seen in a long time. If we really wanna talk about ordering someone's steps, well, that's definitely a God for sure. It's the man down under if you wanna ask me, but I wanna kinda of go back to the collaboration. People at the bottom compete. People at the top collaborate. I wanna get back to that. Can you ask me, who is it at the top that she's collaborating with? You know, let's just get all my personal opinion out of the way. Let's leave it for what it is. Who is she collaborating with at the top? Because at the top would be the governor of Illinois, right? He would definitely be at the top. Let us see what the top person in the state of Illinois is saying about her. Governor, are you monitoring what's going on in Dalton and Thornton Township and leadership there? Are you concerned? Taxpayers seem very worried. There's chaos at meetings. What can be done? Could you play a role in stepping in in some way? What, what are, what's your take on the situation? So I've, I've looked at that question, whether the state uh, should uh, and can play a role. Um, the federal uh, authorities, as you may know, are involved and in, in investigating. I, I've read that. I think that's a public um, piece of information. Uh, there is an investigation that's been called for and now. I know there was a veto that was overridden that will now allow that investigation to go forward with former Mayor Lori Lightfoot in charge of that. Um, I think that those are two pretty good authorities for looking into this, investigating it, and getting to the truth. We'll support them. Well, we again, we, we looked at whether we ought to put resources, whether it's state police and their anti-corruption efforts or asking the attorney general. The reality is that we already there are already two pretty significant investigations going on. And so we'll support them in every way that we can. Uh, but it's really just a matter of do you want everybody running over each other in those investigations or do you want, you know, a two concerted efforts toward getting the facts? So is J.B. Pritzker a bum? Last I checked, J.B. Pritzker was a billionaire. You see, the reality is black America is in a lot of trouble. A lot of politicians that are African-American, unfortunately Democrat, are gonna burn the community down to its knees. And you have a lot of good people in the community, and I'm from the community, I know. We have a lot of people in the community that really want to see black people come together, that want to work in the community, that are looking for opportunities to network in the community. I know that for a fact. Black people are amazing, African-Americans especially. I know that community because I'm from the community. And I would even go and, and signify it, hashtag FBA, hashtag ADOS, because I heard Myron consider himself an African-American now. So I can't even really use that term as much as I would like, but the historical African-American, let me say. These are people who are trusting in their leadership in their towns to give them a better opportunity. And it's all met with, God's telling me to do this. God's telling me to do that. More corruption. Those people who are against me, these people are bums. These people are, are no talents. These people are haters. That's the opposition to those people who feel like you're stealing everything. I have a video on which I'm about to cover about how Tiffany Hanger is stealing the money from the firefighters. Of course, you may have already heard this, but she doesn't collaborate with anybody. She can't work together with anyone unless it's working together with somebody to steal? Do you think that Keith Freeman is somebody to be worked with? We all we already know what Keith Freeman's uh, long history is of theft, dishonesty, not only in Illinois, in other states, Florida. I mean, the guy is well-traveled, Iowa. Keith Freeman is a bum everywhere he goes. But let's go ahead and look at these people who are at the bottom. The, the, the reality is Tiffany Hingen is a person at the bottom who luckily got to the top through political contacts. She should have never been made mayor. Tiffany Hingard has always been at the bottom. She was a bum in the private sector. She can't handle her money. She was a complete dustina. She's always been that. And this is what happens in the black community. I keep telling you guys the best opportunities is in black America and you don't believe it. Listen, Tiffany Hingard just admitted it. The best opportunities is in the black world because if Tiffany Hingard can become mayor, then guess what? What about somebody who's actually competent? What can you do? In black America, Africa, anywhere in the black world is the best opportunities. It's, 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 it's so dire for opportunities. Somebody like her can become mayor. What about you? I'm telling people like, we don't really know the benefits of working in the community that we can actually do. I'm working in just one of the many opportunities in the pro-black sector, connecting the African-American community to Africa. That's what I do. But if you wanted to be in America and work there and do things, you can because you're always gonna have losers like Tiffany Hingard who's gonna lie and steal. A person who's gonna lie and steal is gonna open the door for more good people in black America to come in and build business. 
absolutely 100% the truth, okay? Absolutely. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out.